Hi, this is Gene from iFixSmartphone.com. Uh, today I'm just going to give you a little tip on the uh, iPad 7 because a lot of iPad 7 that has some issue like boot looping or it doesn't turn on, doesn't charge or doesn't touch, a lot of times um, it's not those are specific issues. Turns out it's the uh, actual CPU of the iPad board is actually floating off due to you know like playing a game, CPU gets too hot and just gets overheated and then somehow it just loses connection underneath the CPU and it just floats. And a lot of times it can be fixed by reflowing the, um, not the reflowing, reboiling the CPU, which meaning they take the CPU out and then reboil the CPU and put the board back, which is very time consuming and very expensive to do. Um, uh, so I want to show you the reason why it's happening because uh, I already took this iPad 7 out uh, Separated the screens and out and here's the board cover and usually So I took this off it's nice and clean usually here's a CPU right here and Even even like the iPhones and older iPad you can see the thermal compound in here to spread the heat or to the heat sink right here and for some reason i don't know why apple chose not to do it this is an a10 let me just a10 cpu and it's just clean so if you have an ipad 7 that's working and you if you want to like prolong the life maybe some you know print the thermal compound just like the thermal compound that you use on the computer heat sink put that on there stick it on put this in it'll spread the heat evenly so it'll help and i have done a couple of those couple of the thermal compound on ipad 7 whenever i had a chance to replace the screen while it's still working and those never come back so it's showing that it's pretty effective so i uh, just wanted to share my uh, experience with you and i'm going to show you so what i have is just a you know simple thermal compound that i use for my computer repairs and let's put a little thermal compound on it just like you're putting on the uh, you know uh, cpu when you put the uh, heat sink on top and you don't even have to do anything just pretty much you're gonna put that cover back on and press it and it'll spread to here and then hope that the uh, helps to evenly spread the heat out. Oops. So that's it. So I know I put the heat, the thermal compound on it and I'm probably gonna mark it. Mark the T here somewhere. So not hard, it's not easy to see, but I can see it from here that the I put the thermal compound on it. So in the future, if I get this again, then I know I've done it. So this is one way to help the iPad 7 to perform better. So I hope this video helps you. And if you have any questions, give me a call at 562-999-2349. Or you can reach us through our website, ifixsmartphone.com. Thanks for watching.